Hey guys, Mateo here. Welcome back to a new video. Finally back into the United States. It was a long trip in Europe. It was a long way to come back here because of course uh, there was a travel ban so I had to spend two weeks outside the European Union in order to come back to America. Not a lot of people know this but I kind of like to give people an idea of what a mass traveling is for a European coming back to the United States. Anyway, I made it back to Florida and then I only stay here for six days and then I have to uh, go to Minneapolis for a feature film. It was kind of an intense, mentally exhausting experience, but uh, we got some really nice footage and uh, I think you guys are gonna love the behind the scene that we capture. And I uh, can't wait to share more of those clips soon and more of that behind the scene with you guys. But in today's video, I wanna talk about something that I think you guys are pretty interested in because I posted in the community tab a while ago and you were all excited about. So today I wanna talk about why you should invest time and money into spec ads, personal projects, short films, but it's something that you basically finance by yourself and you develop for your own glory portfolio. It's a big investment on your future, I think. So what is a spec ad? It is a fake commercial pretty much. So you take a brand that you really like, you have a cool idea, uh, you put together actors and you, you shoot a commercial, but that is not commissioned by the actual brand. And that brings me to the main point of this video. So why do we do spec ads, personal project, and why I think you should invest your money and time in this project? So first of all, client work doesn't usually give you creative freedom. So once you get a job from a client, he's gonna tell you what he wants and you have to execute it and there's nothing else you can do about it. Yeah, you can put your own stuff in there and there are some really good client out there that's gonna give you the freedom to do pretty much whatever you want but this is usually not the case. So because you don't have creative freedom, at the end of the day, whatever you do, you're doing for them, and it will never look like if you were going to do it in your own way. Point number two, client work is usually boring. Yeah, there are some occasions where I did some really interesting stuff, but 95% of the time it's a software company or a boring corporate interview, and hey, there's nothing wrong with that, it's money, but of course it's not something that we might wanna have in our portfolio as a cinematographer. The other reason why we wanna do spec ads because doing spec and personal project allow us to create stuff that we actually wanna make. I wanna do a commercial for a watch brand and if I never had a watch brand commercial in my portfolio, chances are I would never be able to get a watch project. So in that case, doing a watch project by myself is gonna allow me to have something in portfolio. So if I wanna pitch a company, even like a you know micro brand or a small watch brand, whatever, I have something I can show this guy and they might be more inclined to give me that job. Another great thing about doing this kind of project is that I don't have any deadline. And also, as soon as I get home, I can post frames on Instagram, on YouTube, or I can create trailer or little social media clips. I'll do whatever I want. If I wanna do two different cuts, if I wanna do a black and white, like the perfume spec cat, and if I wanna do in color, I can do both. I can just pause them on my channel. And chances are way more people are gonna see it on my channel than on any other client website. Of course, unless it's Apple or Rolex. Another point, of course, that I already talked about, but I'm gonna uh, talk again, is, is improving our portfolio. This is the main reason why we do spec ads. Of course, we wanna do some cool stuff, but it's also, it's gonna give us a chance to have a, a very nice looking portfolio. You know, when you go to my website, I, I, you don't have to have 20 different projects, you just need to have four, six projects, eight projects, but they have to be amazing. So you have to be able to shock the client, whatever is looking at it, it's like, wow, this guy is legit. I think your portfolio is your business card. It's your way to enter this world and it's super, super important. Another cool thing you can do after you shot your spec ads and you post it on your social media, you can actually collect the footage and upload it on a stock footage platform like Film Supply in my case. Not easy to predict and I'm not sure how Film Supply works now. I guess it's pretty hard to get in. But in some occasion, I was able to film spec ad and then upload some clips and I got some pretty good sales uh, through Film Supplies, which is always good. But now I wanna give you a couple of advices regarding spec ads, because I've been doing it for a while now and I had very bad experience, very good experience. So my first advice is do not go cheap. 
try to get a proper crew. Of course, you're not going to be able to pay this guy their full rate, but you can talk to them if they like the idea, they're going to agree. Uh, maybe they can come out for 100 bucks a day, whatever. And most of these spec ads, you shoot them uh, in one day. What we usually do with Rafi together, we plan like three days and we do three projects. You don't need a 20 people crew, but just a basic crew with like a gaffer, grip, AC, a producer, I don't know, a runner or some, someone that can help you. I think it's very, very important. Also now you can get some really cool lenses and cameras for very, very cheap online. Maybe you can negotiate with the rental company. Maybe they can give you a set of cook lenses for three days for $500. I know it seems quite a lot of money, but trust me guys, it's worth it. When you go back home and you watch your footage that you capture with those lenses or anamorphic, uh, Kawa or Nari Alexa, whatever, you're gonna smile. You're gonna look at your footage and you're gonna be like, wow. Also, if this involves something with actors, maybe try to get some friends together or try to do an audition. There's plenty of people, especially in cities like LA or New York, that uh, they're willing to do it for free, just for their portfolio. If people know that you are legit and you don't screw around and you have already maybe a nice portfolio or a couple of really nice video that you can showcase, they're gonna be more willing to work with you. So I know this is gonna be a lot of time for people, but in this work, I think we have a lot of downtime and we also waste so much money in gear that after a year, they're not worth much. So I think a way better investment for that money, it is to actually put them in a real project. And this money, guys, you're gonna write it off. So the budget of a crew, uh, props or a camera or lenses rental, you're gonna write them off from your taxes. All of this to say, if you are on board with something, you wanna do it, do it properly. Get a producer that can help you out because I found myself in some crazy situation, even with Rafi, some spec ads that we did, where we were like, eh, we don't need a producer, we can do it. And we ended up running around, paying people parking. I went, grabbed coffee, croissant, and I went back to the location, I have to light, and I was like, whoa, hold on. You're distracted. Another reason why this is extremely important, in my opinion, to do so, is that you can develop a network of professionals that you can work with. Having a right team is another really important thing, the right gaffer, the first they see. Now I have my team in Tampa and I always call them because I love working with them. We're friends, we just have fun. So yeah, just go out there, create some spec ads, personal projects, short film documentary, whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I see you the next one. Crap ton of content coming out on the channel. Thank you so much. We're 48,000, which is crazy. Uh, let's go to 50 now and even more. I don't know. Have a good one and thanks for watching.